I've made a terrible decision, but it's my decision and I'm going to stick with it. I think I'm going to push to get the, uh, to be able to do burgers and nachos. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy the grill station. Now I'm probably going to regret that decision over the next few days. Cause it means I have no money, but we'll just see what happens. Right? Okay. Let's leave soup on there. Cause I want to make sure that I get, I stay with, I stay practiced with the soup because the soup is one of the best items to have like later game. As long as I can remember what ingredients go in the soup, we'll see. I mean, with just these two, it's not so bad. Just the two recipes, I should say. But once you start getting more complicated to get more recipes, then it starts to get a little bit crazy, but not so bad for now. Okay. As long as I remember which one is which, here we go. I've never quite understood why it makes the, why it makes the, the cutting board sound when you're chopping the, chopping the vegetables directly over. Oh God, here we go. Hold on. Here we go. I have to concentrate every single time I do that. Yeah. I don't know why it makes the, the chopping board sound every time. Like you're cutting the vegetables over the, over the uh, pot. That's what it's called. That's what you use to cook soup, right? You use a pot. It's uh my brain sometimes. So that's what I'm talking about with the lasagna. Like it has to be layered in these speci this specific order every single time. Are people really going to notice whether or not, whether or not like the, 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 uh, wow, that was a really fast morning. But seriously though, is anyone going to notice if, uh, I can't think anymore. I can't talk anymore during the lunch hour. <laughs> I just have a feeling that people aren't going to notice whether or not there's like the sauce is above the cheese on this one particular layer of, the, of lasagna, but that's just me personally. I don't think anyone would notice, but I don't know. I'm not that particular when it comes to my food. Okay. Almost accidentally only did two slices of carrots instead of three. That person would have been super pissed if I had done that. So I'm glad that I took care of it when I did. That's one of the things that uh, has messed me up with soup quite a few times is uh, if I just, if I don't, if I accidentally miss like one carrot cut or one tomato cut or something, oh jeez, then people get super pissed about it. And it's like, I, I, did, I didn't add like a tiny bit of carrot. Are you really that mad about it? It's just, it's just carrots. You guys calm down. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are ordering the soup du jour today. I mean, it is the soup of the day. So it makes sense, I guess. In a very sort of very twisted sort of way that I wish they would order more chicken soup because that's easier to do. It's only four ingredients instead of six or seven or whatever is on that one. Six, I guess. Oh god. I'm immediately gonna take uh, lasagna off of this because I hate it. I only bought it because it was cheap, and I wanted to just show you how much of a pain in the butt it is. And it actually gets worse because you just add more ingredients, and they have to be layered again in a very specific order every time and it's just such a pain it's not worth the effort i mean it's still you also get a lot of money off of it which is nice but it's still you know i have to just stop everything that i'm doing and saying whenever a lasagna comes up it's like i have to pay attention to what i'm doing or else it will just fail miserably and i just don't want to you know i don't want to i don't want to fail i want to i want to try and succeed a little bit also, again, I'm sorry if my keyboard is super loud, but uh, that's just that's what happens when you play this game, especially if you get really into it, like I sometimes will do. Uh, I'll get real. I'll kind of just get. I think I might have only done two celeries there. Now I feel bad for that one person. I try to pay attention to that sort of thing, but I sometimes it just sometimes the down arrow just doesn't work when I'm chopping my vegetables, so it just only does two instead of three and then I get a bad review off of it because I didn't put quite enough celery in my chicken soup it's like just dude seriously it's not the end of the world nope oh, did it again I messed up with the carrots well no perfect day for me maybe if I just burn the if I just burn it completely, maybe they won't notice. If I just burn the restaurant down, they definitely won't notice. Let's just do that. Let's just burn the restaurant down 
so they won't notice. Because I hit the wrong key when I was trying to do the carrots. I think I just hit the A button over and over. Her. A key, because I'm using a keyboard. See, it keeps happening, like the... Oops. Uh, it keeps, like the... The down arrow just sometimes just doesn't register. Like there. It keeps not registering when I keep hitting it. And I missed that one up too. Really? All right. Uh, do that. I, I'm, I'm trying to, to get everything to work properly. And sometimes it just, I don't know, man. Uh, go away. Okay, ranch cheese. Okay. Okay, that that day didn't go. Uh, this day did not go as well as I'd hoped it would. I think I messed that. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Okay, I think I'm gonna take soup off the menu for a couple days, so I can relax and not have to think about making it and messing it up every time I do it. <laughs> Cause it's like, I know that some people say that this game just causes anxiety for them just to like watch it being played. For me, this is actually like, like I have anxiety in general in life. And this game is actually like it, while it is very tense and sort of, it can get a little bit stressful at times. Uh, it's actually like weirdly, it's weirdly calm. Really, I get two of those at the very end of the day. Okay, fine. An extra 10% buzz at the very end of the day. But I can't really take that much advantage of it. But anyway, so this this game, I know that some people say it causes uh, causes anxiety to watch is watch it get played. Uh, for me, I, like I said, it, it kind of actually it's it's like sort of it's oddly cathartic to me. Uh, oddly cathartic for me to, to play this game, except for the parts where I have to where I, if I prepare foods like lasagna or soup, where every time I make it, I'm worried I did it wrong. So that's why I kind of don't like to do that. Also, I did 70 customers today. That is crazy. Oh, 68 perfect orders, one off of the actual. It's all right. I uh, you know. Never mind. Uh, so only eighteen dollars in tips. That's awful uh, compared with yesterday. Because yesterday I made like forty-two dollars in tips. Made five hundred seventy-eight dollars today. That's pretty good, and good amount of positive buzz. And then we got nine toilets flushed. Only one rat trap. Thirty dishes washed. That's too many. Twenty-five garbage was thrown. Also too many. I'm eventually going to get some services where I can actually, you know, not have to do that so much. Love you, tooties. No text. Okay, then. Uh, more about customer patience. Yeah, so this this is basically the other thing. That a new item is available. Table snacks. So that is a definite buy because it means that people are going to be a little bit more patient when they're waiting for their orders. So like if I'm super busy with like 18 other orders, then they will be patient and wait for me to finish the other stuff. Because as you might have seen, when I was playing this game, when I was the first few days, it's like they immediately, like they want their food immediately or they start to get impatient. And then once it reaches the far left side of the screen, they uh, storm off in anger. So I want to try to avoid that as much as possible. So table snacks are definitely a good investment. It's only a hundred bucks. It's definitely worth it. To me, it's very much worth it. So, okay, let's get soup off the menu. Sorry. I mean, it's great for it's great for tips. It's great for all sorts of things, but it's just it's just too much. It gets too frustrating sometimes. <laughs> Not frustrating, but just kind of like okay, I'm, I'm I'm tired of this. So I'm gonna put fish and chicken back on the menu, and let's go for another day. And once I get enough money, I am definitely going to go ahead and buy the burgers because I like making the burgers. They're fairly simple. There are a ton of different recipes for the burgers, but not a whole lot of ingredients that you can mess with. So it's actually, it's not too bad. You just have to remember what what keys are which items and then just go from there. It's, it's relatively simple and I like that. Also, I like burgers in real life a lot. So that helps that I was like, I wanna cook them in this game rather than cook them in real life because I'm too much, I'm too lazy to cook them in real life. Also, the burgers I make are never as good as you can get at a restaurant. Why is that? Th why is that something that happens? It's like you, you try to make something that you have in a restaurant, and it's just never as good. Like, what is that? I never understand that. Because like you get you get all the same ingredients. Sometimes you get better ingredients than you do at a restaurant, and you or you know you make 
you make everything exactly as you think it would has you as it would make is as the as the chef would make it you know you put everything together and you eat it and it's like well, that was on that was just it just wasn't as good and i don't understand how that happens is it just is it the fact that you the fact that someone's like someone was paid to do it instead of you know you having to pay you know, just as much, if not more, money in order to get the the same result. Is it just the is it just that, or is it just the the luxury of having to go out to a restaurant and not have to think about cooking for yourself? What is that? It's it's such a strange. To me, it's it's just weird. I don't know. Can you explain that to me, anybody? Feel it, please feel free to explain it to me if that's what it is. Is it just the fact that you know the person who's cooking that particular food is like they're a professional, like they might have studied to do this? Or, you know, they, they've, they've been working at restaurants for however many years or whatever. You know, what is it? I just, I'm curious. Okay. All right. And as I say all of that, uh, okay, that went okay. All right. Gross. Okay. That actually went really well. This is where I start to not like, I mean, if, if something like this happens in a rush hour, that's bad because then, you know, all of my food slots are taken up by chicken, which is, it takes a very long time to cook. That's like its biggest drawback is that it takes forever to cook. Because I mean, in game time, it takes like 45 minutes to cook. So if you get all of your workstations filled up with chicken, you can't ha bring in more customers who will order things that take less time to cook or prepare, like beer. It's like beer takes like five seconds to do. Chicken takes like, you know, 45 seconds. Maybe not quite that long, but it takes a while to cook the chicken. So hopefully that won't happen too much in the uh, rush hours. It has happened to me before when I've played this game in the past. It's like, it'll just, I'll have like four or five or six workstations and they all have grilled chicken. And it's like, I can't do anything. Just have to wait for all the chicken to cook because customers only want chicken. And then no new customers can come in because I can't I, I can't make any new food because it's all just chicken. So and it's obviously a very popular dish today. People keep ordering it. I think I did the same thing with chicken that I did with fish. Like I thought, uh, you know, I have to pound it very slowly, like pound tender at ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do the uh, do the, the seasoning, and then wait for the seasoning. To, to land on the chicken before I start cooking it. So it's like, no, just, just smash it with the tenderizer. Then as long as I hit the seasoning key, that's all that matters. Like I don't even need to think about whether or not I have to wait for the, the seasoning to actually land on the chicken. Just as long as I hit the key, I'm good. Okay, lunch or dinner rush. Oh, great. Okay, rough start to the dinner rush. Have to deal with. Uh... Okay, two chickens. That's not great. Plus, I the fish is going to cook pretty quickly. That's done. Uh, ranch, cheese, bacon. Okay, there we go. No, not more chicken. Please, game. Fish is fine. Okay. It's fine. No, not more chicken. Please, game, no. Fish is not so bad. Chicken is bad, though. Ah, oh, jeez. It's not too bad. Uh, okay. Well, things are a little bit, not chaotic, but just they're a little bit slower than I'd like them to be for, for a dinner rush. I'd like there to be more things I can go through, more orders I can go through as quickly as possible. Uh, ooh, nice. That's a good time for that. So I probably won't have... I probably won't keep chicken on the menu too many times just because again it takes forever to cook uh oh well sorry dude you got uh, you're probably gonna get some sort of horrible disease from uh from my disgusting dirty non-sanitized hands after i've taken out the garbage uh, wow another one okay i'm doing well with the customers tonight getting a lot of positive buzz from uh just greens and carrots you got it a lot of positive buzz from the interwebs today. Ranch, cheese, onions, and peppers. 
<laughs> I do like the little sound effects that some of these people are like. <laughs> I like that. It's, it's 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 part of the charm of this game. It's like the little tiny, it's just like the silly, funny little uh, sound effects that some of these people make when they get their their satis they're satisfied with their food. You know, I like that. It's it's just fun and silly, and it's just again, it's just. There, there's just this charm for this game, which is why I keep enjoying it and coming back to it. And just, I don't know, just, it's one of my favorite games, like, ever made. And, oh, thank goodness. No, uh, no chicken at 9.58 today. 63 customers, not bad. 60, I got a perfect day. That's great. Only $16 in tips, though. Again, not spectacular. And let's see. So we got nine toilets flush, two rats, 30 dishes. That's way too many. Few, less garbage, though, so that's good. I don't really take most of the positive and negative aspects of each food into account because it's just I'm lazy and I don't really pay that much attention to it. Uh, let's see. True's Food Reviews. Cheesy Blaster Burrito. That sounds like my kind of food right there. Today I was hungry for the Cheesy Blaster Burrito, which is only 89 cents. God, I wish something was still 89 cents at any place. I think I may sneeze, so I'm sorry in advance if I do that. Wait for it. Okay. <coughs> oh. oh my god, my sinuses are clear for like five seconds. I can breathe. Listen to me. I can breathe. That's so nice. And it's clogged again. 89 cents at the Save -in Mart. A flour tortilla used was paper at was papery at best, but it was that oozy goodness of cheese and beans that won me over in the end. It's a shame that it's molten lava hot outside and icy cold on the middle, in the middle, but I still give it a six out of 10. That reminds me very much of the Jim Gaffigan bit on Hot Pockets, where he talks about how Hot Pockets can either be served uh, frozen in the middle or boiling a lava hot. Let's see, safety inspection do, okay. So basically what happens with the safety inspection, I'm not gonna read all that because that takes forever to read. What happens is the safety inspector will come by the come by the restaurant a couple times during the day, and you basically have to make sure that your uh, work orders are done because the like the patience for that is drastically reduced. So you have to make sure you take care of all your dishes, all your trash, all your toilet flushings uh, in a timely manner. Casting chefs for Iron Cook. We're casting all three star chefs ready to take on a challenge. Stop by the Iron Cook Studios if you have a three star restaurant or higher and, and audition for the chance to be the next Iron Cook. One of these days, I'll get there. At least he gave me the, you know, the 250 bucks. Hello, what do we have here? I love your restaurant. I'm a local blogger and I plan to write a great review of your food. So hope the extra buzz helps you. So I get an extra 10% buzz today. Nice. So we're going to get a lot of customers in today. French fry upgrade available. That's great. I don't actually have French fries, but thanks anyway. Good news about all this is now I have enough money to buy the burger, which I'm going to buy. And I'm immediately going to swap the chicken out for the burger because chicken just takes too long to cook sometimes. If I have more workstations, it's not so bad, which spoiler alert, the further you get in this game, the more workstations you get to use. So I'm going to go with burgers because I like making burgers. They're easy to make. They cook relatively quickly. And it's just fun. There's a lot of different uh, variety you can get with them. Like the Heart Stopper, which is my kind of burger. Uh, <laughs> and that guy looks like he would definitely want that sort of burger. You see how quickly the, the meat cooks there? So we have meat, bacon, and cheese. It sounds fan-freaking-tastic right now. See, now I'm getting myself hungry. Even though I said earlier in, the, earlier in this episode, I'm pretty sure I said, I'm not hungry. I had food before I started playing this game. I'm not going to be hungry. And then I look at the first burger and it's like, man, I want a burger. So I've ruined myself for this game. Two episodes in and I'm already very hungry for something. Uh, man, people are really going for burgers today. Apparently it's, oh, new food item. Gotta get, oh, everyone has to get it now, right? Uh, okay. I never think to just, I never think to like spread ingredients out differently than how it's immediately laid out in, in the description. Like for the, like for the heart starter, you think you'd do like meat, bacon, cheese, meat, bacon or something. Just like mix it up like that. But no, I just, I just like immediately, I just put all of them 
in in a row just like it is just meat meat bake bacon cheese which that's fine with me okay you know what everyone just order beer i'm a hundred percent okay everyone order beer seriously oh you ruined everything why'd you have to order a salad we we're on a we were on a beer streak oh man everything just like i could have been just beer that would have been awesome just nothing but beer i don't drink and that would have been awesome just have like just a beer run just nothing but beer for for uh for lunch from everyone okay gotta be careful i don't accidentally leave the uh the fish uh to to overcook because fish overcooks very quickly i don't want that to happen man this is a there's a lot of beer served this afternoon it must have been a rough day at the office for a lot of people yeah one meat patty there we go Rough morning for a lot of people, apparently. Meat and tomatoes. Can I also say, I love the music in this game. Music for, I think, all three Cooks Are Delicious games was written by Jonathan Gear, And I just, I love the music in this game. It's just, there's just something about just how sort of, it's not quaint, but it definitely has just a great vibe to it. and. Every so often, like most of the songs, I want to sort of dance to it in my chair. It's definitely one of those songs. They all are, but this is, this one I think particularly just has a really great groove to it. It's just like, yeah, man. I just want to enjoy this song. This one's a little bit, I mean, it's definitely dance worthy, but it's a little bit more tense than the last one. Ooh, a very early positive buzz from someone on the Twitter. But yeah, this song, like I said, all the music you can... Oops. <laughs> I did that wrong. I did that in the different order than what I usually do. <laughs> usually I go right, down, left. This time I accidentally went like down. It's like, oh no, what do I do? It's like everything's wrong. Threw it off slightly. Okay. Meat cheese. I feel like you should have more on that triple than just just three meat patties and a slice of cheese. I feel like you should have more than like a couple slices of cheese, something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Like if I'm going to get a triple hamburger, which I'm not really going to do that. I think that's too much, too much meat. But if I was going to get like a triple hamburger, I'd want more than one slice of cheese on it. Other than just that, you know, give me like two slices of cheese or something. Uh, what was it? Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. What I will say about the, the work orders that require you to sanitize your hands uh, is they don't let you, they don't let you leave. A lot of people ordering triples today, geez. They don't let you uh, leave if you haven't sanitized your hands. Which is, uh, I like that because uh, in this very strange time we live in, It's, it's probably for the best that they force you to wash your hands in this game. I really shouldn't have done the garbage right now, but that's okay. It's already done. Meat, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes. Oop. Uh, okay. Oh, I... Okay, that works. That's fine. I, I accidentally selected the... Not necessarily the wrong uh, order, but I definitely was the lonely patty. Oh. Almost put bacon on there accidentally. But I like the fact that this game forces you to clean your hands before you go back to, before you go back to, to work, you know? Like you can't just be like, oh, flush the toilet and then leave. No, you have to sanitize your hands. Meat and lettuce only. I didn't see who ordered the lonely patty last time. Uh, if it was if it was a lady, I usually like to just call her Lonely Patty, even though, you know, I'm just being an asshole at that point. But still, it's like, it's like, oh, she ordered the Lonely Patty, and her name is, I'm assuming, Patty, which is just very sad. And then I want to, you know, you know, take her on a date or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's weird and sad and kind of sexist. I know. I realize that. So uh, I will not bring it up again unless it actually happens. 
which I hope it doesn't because I don't want to be proven right <laughs> with that particular thing. And just greens and carrots. Awesome. Perfect last order. Didn't have to wait around here for 45 minutes for chicken to cook or anything. 65 orders, not bad. $22 in tips, better than the last couple days. 32 buzz, nine toilets, three rats, only 12 dishes and 15 garbage. That's great, actually. Uh, the, the fewer dishes and garbage I have to throw out, the better. Let's see, what do we have? Don't care. I forgot, I totally forgot that my, I totally forgot there was even a, uh, uh, my, my inspection was happening during that. I was just like going like normal. Didn't even look to see whether or not the, uh, the, the inspector was there. DVD, VH, CD. You got old tapes? Trade the... <laughs> Sorry, I love that. I just think of this guy. You got old tapes? Trade that stuff in for cash. I'll pay $5 for every pound of DVD slash VHS slash CDs that you can bring in. Uh, don't believe other pound per DVD. <laughs> That's... Oh my God, I love the idea of that. Just here's... um. Here's 30 pounds of DVDs. Like, what? That would be so many DVDs. They CVs, CDs, and DVDs weigh like nothing. VHSs, that would almost be worth it, but VHSs are now a collector's item. So five bucks for a pound of VHSs is like nothing. Because you can you can buy some VHS tapes for like lots of money, and it's ridiculous, but not bad necessarily. Anyway, uh, it's like it's like how many DVDs, how many, like how many DVDs does it how many, okay, like how, how much does a pound of DVDs, how many DVDs would that be? Would they be like 100? Would that be like 200? I have no idea how many DVDs it would take to weigh one pound. It just it throws me off. That's a sort of existential crisis that's going to be stuck in my mind until I look it up and I find out, oh, it's like 40. I don't know. It's, it's really strange though. But yeah, okay. Uh, inspection passed. Hooray. So we get uh, extra buzz because I passed my inspection. I know many are also occurring. I have to take the fish off the menu. Got another perfect day, so more money from Chef Risotto. Thank you very much, sir. More about extra events. Extra events open up later in your restaurant career. They can range from small catering events to the Iron Cook Challenges. Filmed in the ho filmed in Hollywood. Is this Hollywood? Is that where that... I guess this... I guess Sherry Soda Tower is in Hollywood, because... I keep getting uh, I keep getting emails about the Iron Cook Studios, and it's like it's just just it's right down the street, you know that sort of thing. So I guess we're in Hollywood. Who knew? Who knows what you might stumble upon later in the game? I mean, I know, but I won't talk about it later. More about extra equipment. Oh, good, more stuff is here. There are many items in the equipment menu that can help you uh, help you out with your chores by either cutting down the amount of times you need to do a chore. Each day, like the toilet, please. Can I buy the toilet soon? Very soon, please. Can I buy the toilet? Uh, to completing chores uh, much faster. Yeah, I know. So if a chore is eating away your time, like garbage, uh, during the day, consider buying a piece of equipment slash service, such as a dishwasher or garbage delivery garbage service to garbage delivery service. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Okay, we got the dishwasher available. Dishwasher is it's okay. It's not. It's it's one of the easiest. For me, it's like the easiest thing to do outside of flushing toilets. So I'm probably not going to buy that just yet. There is a salad upgrade available, though, which is tempting. But I don't know what it involves. What do I get for the salad upgrade? I don't know. It's $900, which I do not have. I'm $7 short. So that will give me Thousand Island dressing. And will let me charge $10 for a salad. I don't even have meat in those salads. How are you charging $10? For a salad, well, it has bacon, but it's like bacon bits. Like, you're really gonna charge 10 bucks for a salad and not have, like, chicken in that? Like, that's, that's, that's price gouging, man. That's what that is. I'm a terrible person. Why am I, why am I doing this? I feel, uh, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm gouging my customers. And I feel bad about that. So, on that pleasant note, I think we're gonna call it here. And next time, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I know I'm going to have to take fish off the menu. What I'm going to replace it with, I don't know yet. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But thank you all for watching. And I will talk to you all next time.